welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Adeline aka Brown Skin Derm and today I am going to be telling you how to care for your lips. But before I jump into that topic, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on weekly videos and daily YouTube shorts. Thank you. I'm shooting this video on a beautiful Saturday. I was doing my skincare routine and I noticed some dryness to my lips so I thought, you know, what a perfect opportunity to show you how to care for your lips. So what happened to my lips is that I tried on a new lipstick and I think I had contact dermatitis or an irritation to it that happened a couple of weeks ago but it left my lips super dehydrated. It's recovered but I'm getting some dryness um, in that area so I've been moisturizing a whole lot more than usual. But today I'm going to exfoliate and go through my whole lip skincare routine with you guys. A lot of us don't pay as much attention to our lips when it comes to overall skin care, but we ought to. Skin on the lips is thin and is always exposed to the sun, which means it can get sun damage. Believe it or not, you can get sunburns on your lips and the sunburn can lead to irritation and inflammation that evidently causes darkening for those of you who are wondering why your lips may be darker than usual. Now granted, there are many reasons why you may have discoloration of the lips, including genetics. However, there are certain things like sun exposure, sunburns, that can actually lead to irritation, inflammation, and darkening of the lips. Also lifestyle habits such as smoking can darken the lips. And then we have weather that can cause um, dryness and dehydration of the lips, especially during the winter. And that inflammation again can lead to darkening. So in this video, I'm going to emphasize three things you need to do to care for your lips. That is exfoliation, moisturizing, and sun protection. First things first, let me show you the products that you need in a full lip skincare routine. So for exfoliating my lips, I love using sugar scrubs. This is a sugar scrub that I got from Bath & Body. It was about $10. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. However, you can make your own sugar scrub at home by using granulated sugar and petroleum jelly and you'll be just fine. So this is a sugar scrub that I use. I exfoliate lips only once a week because overdoing it can lead to dryness and dehydration of the lips, resulting in flakiness and it's not a good feeling. Now, after you exfoliate, you're going to lose moisture. So it's important that you replenish your lips with a nice moisturizing lip balm. And the one I use is this Karité Shear Butter Balm. It's raw shear butter and it's highly, highly moisturizing and very, very rich in vitamins and other fatty acids lipids that help moisturize the skin and reinforce skin's moisture barrier not only on the body but also on the lips. If you have petroleum jelly, feel free to also use that. If you don't want to use a specialized lip balm, petroleum jelly would work just fine. Now this is Vaseline, is 100% pure petroleum jelly. I love this one because it's so convenient, you can travel with it and uh, it's this balm that you can apply on any area of the body including using it on your lips. But I also love the CeraVe ointment is enriched with ceramides and hyaluronic acid. So it gives you added ingredients including your petroleum jelly to moisturized skin. So it's also one of my favorites. Last but not the least is lip balm sunscreen. This is very, very important um, if stepping out or if you're going to be exposed to ultraviolet radiation. After finishing your exfoliation and moisturization, then lip balm is very important. Remember that you can get skin cancers on your lips. You can get fine lines and wrinkles around your lips. So very important to use sun protection. So let's begin our lip care because we're going to use our fingers for the process. It's important that you wash your hands. So I have washed my hands in preparation for my lip exfoliation and other parts of my lip skincare routine because we don't want to be transferring dirt to the lips. To ease the process of exfoliation on my lips, I usually start by applying 
some ointment before my exfoliated scrub. So I like to use my ring finger, a gentle application. So in a circular motion, I just go around my lips, paying attention to the corners of my mouth. It helps to pout a little bit. Now when you overdo this, it can be a little bit irritating. I just advise you do this for just about 45 seconds or so and you're good. It's not something that you need to overdo. Additionally, you can just do like this if you don't want to use your fingers. It works as well. There we go and now we're going to wipe off the exfoliative scrub. Get a wet cotton pad or one of these disposable towels from the Clean Skin Club. Wet it and just use it to wipe off excess lip scrub. It's okay if you have sugar particles on your face, you just need to wash your face after that. This is what my lips look like post exfoliation. It is feeling dry, so we're going to moisturize it ASAP. With my Shea Butter Balm, so I prefer using this in the daytime, at night, I go for my petroleum jelly. So you can do either or. So I'm really enjoying how my lips feel right now. There's no flakiness, and my lips feel very, very moisturized. For sunscreen, I'm a big fan of Sun Bumps mineral sunscreen balm. This has an SPF of 30. I advise people when looking for a sunscreen lip balm or an SPF lip balm, make sure it's an SPF of 30 and not less. That is a disqualifying factor to me when an SPF lip balm is below an SPF of 30. I tend to see a lot of SPF lip balms with an SPF of 15. Granted, if that's the only thing you have access to, go ahead and use it. Some sunscreen is better than no sunscreen. I don't mind that this SPF lip balm by Sun Balm leaves a white cast as a mineral sunscreen, so mineral sunscreens tend to do that. But because I usually layer it with my favorite lipsticks and lip glosses, it takes care of itself. I don't have to worry about walking around with whitish cast on my lips. So this lipstick is Out Loud by Smashbox and it's one of my favorite lipsticks. Now, if you're not a fan of white cast, I mean, who is? Um, Sun Bomb does make SPF lip glosses that you can use, but I don't know. I prefer this mineral sunscreen. I like to see that I'm applying it and it's white and it's really visible on my lips. To me, it's just a mental thing, but I don't mind it. It's highly, highly moisturizing, and like I said, I just layer my lipsticks or lip glosses over it, and it does well, it looks good. If the white cast bothers you or you are not going to apply any lipstick or lip gloss, definitely go for your SPF lip balms, which come in various, various shades, so you don't have to worry about the white cast, and it's still a mineral sunscreen if you prefer mineral sunscreens. My preference is mineral sunscreens because I find them less irritating in my skincare in general. Now, if you wear lip glosses, it's absolutely important that you layer sunscreen underneath your lip glosses because the gloss is going to attract and reflect more light, which is going to lead to a greater amount of ultraviolet radiation exposure compared to something like a matte lipstick. That's why if it's very, very sunny outside, I go for a lipstick instead of a lip gloss. When it comes to taking off your skincare products from your lips, don't forget to do this gently. Don't be overzealous. I personally like to use micellar water. If you follow this page, you realize that I talk about micellar water a lot. You could also use cleansing balms or you could use simple petroleum jelly. Believe it or not, it would take off uh, makeup in this area. But I really, really, really love micellar water just to complete your lip skincare routine. Look at that, guys. That's just in one go. It is so easy to take up lip products with micellar water. So if this was in the night time, you just apply your petroleum jelly or lip balm and go to bed. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please leave any questions or comments down below. I've linked all the products that I used in this video in the info box. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to make sure you're following along on this channel. And if you watched the entire video, thank you so much and see you next time. Bye.